the latest Haley Dean mystery, A Prescription for Murder, premieres this Sunday night at 9, 8 central at Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And back to give us the inside scoop is the movie's executive producer, best-selling author, Nancy Grace, everybody. Yay. Back in the house. Welcome, Welcome back, Nancy. Nancy. We're happy to have also you, as always. An I actress, add, an yes. actress, but we'll get to that mm -hmm. in a little bit. We'll get to that in a minute, but right now, so I have to say that I really do enjoy the titles for all of these movies, A Prescription for Murder. So let's talk about this one. Tell us what the plot. Okay, well, first of all, it's in a hospital. There you okay. go. So it's making sense already. All right. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. people start, as I like to say, dropping like flies. Dropping oh, like flies? Well, flies. Yeah. unfortunately, and some then, people pass away then, in the hospital. And then, Fincher's girlfriend it becomes a suspect, uh -uh. and she should be, because she's right there on the scene. She's had a conflict with one of the murder victims just before the murder. Huh. Okay. And all the murders take place in an extremely wily way. I mean, you got to know your way around hospitals and prescriptions. <laughs> well, get I, it? You know, it's not prescription, <laughs> but it's not for murder. <laughs> Well, perhaps someone takes too much of a prescription and dies. Is that what you're trying to tell Great me? Great storyteller, too. You had us really engaged. We're all like sitting around it. the campfire listening. But you I had can us. tell you, it's not, you know, it's not that uncommon that people do pass away in hospital, well, but this is not a natural cause. Well, there's causes. some suspicion. Not if Haley Dean is around. Okay. If Haley Dean is there, it's a murder. Oh, boy, it's a murder. Okay, well, we have we'll a clip the bottom of it. from the film where Haley Dean is actually visiting her boyfriend Jonas in said hospital yes. while he is investigating. And he is a medical examiner. Yep, and he's investigating said murder. Murder. Let's take a look. <laughs> you read my mind. Mm -hmm. mm. My dad was very impressed with you, by the way. Oh, I'm so relieved. I was shaking in my boots. Well, no one could tell. You got here just in time to witness the last few test results. Oh, right on cue. I'm not feeling very hopeful. That's the spirit. <laughs> it's here. The cause of death. What does it say? An overdose of digoxin. Haley, Erica Shulman was poisoned. There it is. There it is. We gotta piece it together, Joe. I'm not Joe. saying anything. All right, you can't get it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nancy, if you were... You're going to have to watch the whole movie to, to the very out. end. You don't have to force me. I uh -huh. love your movies. I'm a big fan of your work, Nancy Grace, personally and professionally. Now, speaking of personally, okay, I know you for a really long time. Mm -hmm. um, so I wonder, I was thinking when I was reading this last night, this takes place in a hospital. I mm -hmm. wonder what kind of patient Nancy Grace would be in a hospital. If I was oh your nurse, oh. would I be happy to see you? Oh. Yes, you would. I, I got a story for you. Okay. When, you know, I almost died when I had the twins. Yeah. And I was in the hospital. Why did they wake you up all night long? Aren't you supposed to be getting well? <laughs> they have to check your vitals. Whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> a nurse came in. She was going to take my blood. I will forever remember her. Hurricane. Diane. Oh boy, if you're watching. And you know she was you are. brand new. It took her 14 stabs. I was black and blue. Ooh. I was just laying there. I could hardly move. I could hardly breathe. And finally, my husband, who was sleeping oh. in a fold-out chair, you know, he's so smart. I always brag about how smart he didn't. Couldn't figure out how to fold it out, so he was oh, sleeping wow. in this weird position. <laughs> anyway, he went, whoa, whoa, whoa! This is going to be the 15th jab. And he made them bring in a, a veteran. She got it. She couldn't find a vape First time. in one. And I never said a word. Really? Now, on the oh, other hand, oh my gosh, impressive. you really are. Ooh, on the other patient. hand, you know, it. Okay. You know my, my little boy mm. uh, was uh, playing basketball and had a head injury. Oh, there he is, my oh, love. And look oh, at little lady. Lucy. Well, you just look, drink that in for a moment. I know. Like, <laughs> look at that, that. That's the greatest thing I've ever done, right there. Yeah, well, it's anyway, he fell, sure. he had a head injury, and we didn't know what was happening. Everything was going sideways. I slept in the bed with him in the hospital. Now, you know, I was H E L L on wheels. I bet. And when my mom was just in the hospital recently, I had to go out in the hall. Mm -hmm. And scream. I broke up a staff meeting because my mom was hurting and nobody would come take care of her. It's so for them, that's a whole nother camera. But it's interesting what we'll do for the ones we Isn't love. Isn't that funny? And, and we'll yet you sort of swallow it if it's us. That's a good True. point. 
especially your kids. Mike. Well, uh, your characters in these movies, your your cameos in these movies, I should say, are uh, always highly entertaining. Artistic. Oh. <laughs> highly artistic. Highly artistic. That's exactly. Well, they are. The artistic they is are. what I was thinking. But I'll too. say this, everybody. I'm, I'm excited about this particular movie because it's got oh, a little twist. Good. We've got a fun little twist with this movie, don't we, Nancy? Yes. I shot three super secret cameos. Oh. Three. And you can go onto the website at Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. I think there's a slash backslash Nancy. Yeah, I'll, Hallmark I'll... Movies and Mysteries. You get a glimpse of the three cameos, and then you get to decide which one you like the best. Really? And yes, before the movie, and then you tune in oh, that Sunday to night. See if it's going to be and the you one. Get to see yeah. If you. If your favorite, oh, that's, that's right. cool. That yeah. is awesome. I love that, Nancy. I'm such a big fan of this oh. series. It's so fun to see you and all. And the I'm cameras. equally irritating in all three. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, it's that's like, not no, true. Between, which no. child do you like the best? Okay. Entertaining, not irritating. <laughs> Thank you. It's a true story. <laughs> and you know, I think one of the reasons that this resonates with so many young women at home is because Haley Dean is such a powerful role model for girls, and I know that's a big deal to you. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of a turn, because speaking of powerful role models, I saw a photo of you and your family recently visiting with one of our former presidents, President Jimmy Carter. How did that happen? Well, as you know, President Carter has the Carter Center. That was, that was one of the greatest days of my life. Number one, I never thought I'd get to have a family. And number two, to get to actually have a picture with the children and my husband with the president. Oh, and I said, we can't stay long. You can ask one question. So I thought they were going to go, hi, President Carter, what's your favorite color? Or something like that. Yeah. And then Lucy said, President Carter, looking back on your presidency, what, if anything, would you have done differently? I'm like, well. That's great, though. I love to hear that. I Good for you. I was so impressed with them. I am, too. And you know what I remember about everything Carter said? He said, the one thing um, I would do differently, and I tried to do it when I was in the White House, but now I know my calling Okay, I might cry. He said, um, was to try to obtain peace throughout the world. Oh, gosh. And when he said that, I mean, he's very committed. Yeah. And I hope the twins remember it the way I remembered it, because oh. that's what oh, he Nancy. took away from the White House. And now that's what he still does. That's his mission. He, what a good man. Yeah, yeah whether what you're a Republican or Democrat, whatever he's a good man. Exactly right. Take politics out of it. He was the first president of the White sure. House when I was born. Really? Yep, I remember mm. that he loved peanuts. I wasn't well. born then. I have no <laughs> recollection because I'm so much younger than you. What about that? <laughs> we know that. So there, there I was born obvious. in 1970. Whatever. Nancy, always entertaining <laughs> when you come to visit us. Always entertaining when we see your movies, too, by the way. Oh, Be yes, sure to tune in this you. Sunday night at 9 8 Central for the premiere of Haley Dean, A Prescription for Murder, and to preview which of Nancy's three possible cameos will make it into the secret movie. Secret cameos. Secret. Not so secret well, anymore. So much. <laughs> 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 com forward slash Nancy Grace. That is so cool.